Hey, how's it going everybody? Scott Sprintz here, DocSports.com. Welcome to the update for Sunday, March 28, 2021. Free pick in college basketball coming up on this report. Hope you're with us yesterday. We cashed a winning day overall. Uh, college basketball turned a profit thanks to that six-star play in the NIT on Mississippi State. Bringing up college basketball because my first and likely my only eight-star play of the college basketball season goes on Sunday. Sweet 16 action. And uh, listen, if you have been with me since day one of the college basketball basketball season. My sides, my run is up over $6,300. And just looking at the five-star and higher plays, going back to last year, we're up almost $6,000 for $100 per unit betters. And of course, this is as big as they get. Eight-star play, it'll be on my homepage at DocSports.com. You can go check that out if you wish. Again, a winning day yesterday, thanks to that six-star on Miss State. Today, Sweet 16 is an eight-star play. And again, it will be on my homepage at DocSports.com, so you can go check that out. Uh, looking to go to 5-0 and with our all-sports eight-star our plays going back several months now over at DocSports.com. I'm uh, going to make this one quick. I do have NBA. We're going for a 3-0 Friday through Sunday sweep. I've got a four-star on Sunday. I've got NASCAR. They've decided to throw some dirt on the track at Bristol. And uh, so listen, you jump in, you study, you see guys that had backgrounds on the dirt tracks, and we've got a four-star matchup winner for Sunday's NASCAR if you want to jump on board there also. 53-28 and 28 run in NASCAR, and we'll look to win our fourth straight race at Bristol on Sunday. Uh, so that's everything that's going on for me. NBA, NASCAR, soccer, uh, and of course, again, that eight-star Sweet 16 play on Sunday's card. All right, let's get to it. Free pick from college basketball's card on Sunday. Uh, you got Florida State taking on Michigan. Wolverines laying about a bucket or so here. And listen, one of the reasons they're the favorite and power rated that way is because of what they did when Isaiah Livers was in the lineup. And of course, he's not. Uh, he's injured and has been. Uh, but he's a double-digit scorer. He's 13 points per game. And without his 6-7 double-digit scoring, all of a sudden Michigan is left with two guys who average in double figures. I don't think it's going to get it done against the Seminoles and their athletic well-coached defense. I mean, look what this team did so far. They allowed 54 to Greensboro. It was a closer game than most people thought it was going to be. They end up winning by 10, allow 54. They allow 53 to a good Colorado team in a big win, 71-53. They gave up 107 points in their first two games of the dance. Normally when you play those teams, that shut teams down through the first couple of the rounds, they do extremely well in the Sweet 16. Doesn't guarantee that they're going to do great in this game, but I like them. I think they get this win here. And again, they're getting a couple of points. But uh, Florida State's defense, I think, is going to be a little bit too tough on the Michigan Wolverines who are playing without livers and, of course, power rated uh, with his numbers factored in over the course of the season, which I think makes them just a little bit a little bit overrated a tad in this particular game. We'll recommend to play on the Florida State Seminoles on Sunday. Uh, again, star of the show for me on Sunday, that eight-star play college basketball, Sweet 16 action. It's a side. It's available on my homepage at DocSports.com. If you like the videos, click on that thumbs up button and be sure to subscribe. I do appreciate it. Let's put Sunday in the win column. I'm Scott Spritzer, DocSports.com.